My name is John Marchant. I'm here as the representative on earth of the artist Jamie Reed. This is a, a wall collage that um, we've been doing these all over the world since, well, for our, at least the last 20 years. And New York asked us to do one of these actually in Stavanger a few years ago, and now we've been asked to come back and do another one. It's essentially a collage of, of uh, a number of Jamie's graphic ideas through the years, beginning with things that he's very well known for, sex, sex pistols items, moving uh, all the way through a lot of social protest, up to actually, this was only done a few weeks ago, this particular one. Uh, it's fairly self-explanatory, I think. Um, we have a lot of other symbols in here as well. Uh, this is Jamie's glyph, which is essentially an A for anarchy with a V for victory in it. It's called the Over. And we've done a lot of projects that involve that, and Jamie always signs his name with that. The rest of it, you can see where Jamie's thinking goes. Uh, let's just start at the beginning, if you like. Yeah, this one actually goes back to the Iraq War. Um, George Bush, Tony Blair, Osama bin Laden as well, actually, all liars, basically. So these works that he's done at the time, in the yeah. moment, and then he's... And yeah. we're sort of bringing them back as a... Quite. It's like a sort of memory web in some ways as well. I mean, we've done other projects where we've taken these posters from the past, long way in the past and put them up as if they're contemporary pieces as well, just to mess with people's heads a bit. Nothing wrong with that. Uh, this was from, you know, obviously when Boris Johnson was Prime Minister. Attack on the Bullingdon Club crowd. He's not, not a fan of Johnson then, Not a big fan of Boris Johnson, funny enough. No. This, actually, this, this, this piece originated with... Um, Actually, a project we did with Pussy Riot back in 2013. We did some visuals for Pussy Riot uh, attacking, um, attacking Putin. Really, only figures of authority, generally, a fair game. John Wayne with lipstick, um, with a badge that says, Peace is Tough, has got, actually, funnily enough, there's an interesting little story to go with this. Um, this was being projected in Derry in 91 across the river there. It got in, Jamie into all sorts of problems because they loved John Wayne over there. Didn't like the idea of John Wayne being emasculated in some way like that. And, uh, but the following year they had a peace conference in Derry which they called Peace is Tough. And I think you know, in a tiny little way we helped us to push things along in, a, in, in some respect. So he influenced the... <laughs> who knows, right? Who knows? I'm not saying anything. This was actually a commission for The Guardian, done in, uh, what was it? I can't remember. It's 1990, I think it was, something like that. 93, there we are. Again, it speaks for itself. Everybody's there. Hanoverians, everyone. Uh, this, this piece, I'd like to talk about this one, actually. This, um, this is using a photograph by... Uh, an artist called Giles Dooley, who's a friend of ours. Now, Giles was actually a, a fashion photographer in the 90s, and in the 2000s started doing, going to conflict zones. And he was in Afghanistan, stepped on an IED, lost two legs and an arm. Now, Giles, now is one of the most incredible people you could wish to meet. He's a peace campaigner, travels the world principally to places of tra trouble zones. He's in Ukraine right now, of course. Of course he is. Just via Darfur, I think he, he went there. And he, he does an amazing thing where he, he cooks a lot now. So he goes to places like refugee camps, sits down with people, cooks with them, gains their confidence, and makes friends with people and opens doors Everywhere he goes, he's the most extraordinary person. I find it get, difficult getting up sometimes. Giles has got no legs and one arm, and he has more energy and more uh, impetus to make change than virtually anybody I've ever met. So this is a little nod to Giles, actually. You can't quite see it here, but it does say, fuck your wars at the bottom of that. Right. Is that purposely obscured? No, it's just, sadly, it's chance. There's another one down there. You can see it in all its glory. Um, this is quite an interesting, interesting one. This is Silbury Hill. And uh, this is down near Avebury in uh, Wiltshire. And this Silbury Hill was actually the, the, 
it was the, I think it probably still is, the largest human-made monument in Europe. It's actually, that's a hand-made hill. <laughs> it's yes. crazy. But it's like our own pyramid, you know? It was there for elevating people closer to the stars and the sun. It was probably some kind of, uh, it was used for rituals for all sorts of celestial events, you know, with the solstices and the equinoxes and so forth. Um, and this is, a, this is a nod in many ways to uh, Jamie's more spiritual side. His great uncle George was the chief druid, uh, the chosen chief through, from 1906 to 1946. And, but he was also a social campaigner as well. So there was this kind of duality of uh, interest in spiritual elevation, but also social elevation of, of the individual. And Jamie's always carried that interest forward, actually. And we've just, we're in the middle, actually, of a second year of a project in Cornwall, which really focuses on this. And we're going to be talking about this at, for the New Art Festival tomorrow at 11 o'clock. Um, this, this piece was done during the COVID crisis. And I would like to say it's not conspiracy oriented. It's really simply just saying, you know, you, we've got to watch the messaging that's coming out from the government because it's fair to say that throughout all that, all that terrible time, there was nothing positive said, nothing at all about, you know, look after each other nicely, look after your health, you know, think about uh, doing positive things, good things, kind things. You know, it's all very well to clap for the NHS. But, uh, you know, obviously we've, we've seen now the government didn't really mean that either, you know, because how they stuffed the nurses. Clap, clap uh, for the NHS, but don't pay them. Exactly, just clap, clap for them, that's, that's good. I think this is self-explanatory. I think it's a good, always a good time for magic, you know. If magical thinking can be great. You can achieve a lot through magical thinking. This was done for the Occupy movement, which we were quite heavily involved with, getting funding together for Occupy in London. Uh, this actually ended up as, as uh, an LP cover for this one. It didn't say folk the banks. It did say something else, but we had to change it for, <laughs> for the record cover. <laughs> it, it was, yeah, it was. Uh, this was also, <laughs> yeah, this is a, this, this was done, um, as a fundraiser actually for a fantastic community center in Toxteth, Liverpool called the Florence Institute. And, um, I'm mean, obviously he uses a kind of, Jamie often brings humor into his, into his work. Uh, sometimes it's not always appreciated like, uh, swastikas in Trump's eyes, no, but, Trump um, get a good deal there, no, he? he doesn't, does he? But um, this was done when there was a lot of campaigning going on for uh, supporting families who couldn't afford to pay their children, uh, couldn't afford to feed their children during the school holidays. Now the community centre, uh, which I've talked about just now, the, the Florence Institute, they do an incredible work in, in many areas, providing um, Ooh, just social support to people in a very troubled area. But one of the things they do, uh, which is really humbling, is they provide free meals for children throughout school holidays, because there's many people, many kids wouldn't get fed in the area otherwise. Uh, so we did this as a fundraiser. You know, we produce a series of prints, sell them, 100% of the money goes to the food fund. We do that kind of stuff quite a lot. Fairly self-explanatory. Again, that, that's not a new piece. That's a couple of years old, that one, I think. Uh, growth, not greed. Let's support that, I think. It's fair enough, right? When was that done? A couple of years ago, that one. This is a much older one. This goes back to 1980. Um, it's a funny story behind this, actually. This is, these are the tower blocks of Croydon, where Jamie's from, here, with... Uh, Marianne Liberty leading the people in front of the tower blocks of London. Um, but this was a visual that was used for a group called Bow Wow Wow, who Jamie worked with after the pistols. And uh, they uh, released a single called C30, C60, C90 Go, which was about home taping and about the pleasures of home taping and sharing music. Now, of course, at the time, 
all the record companies hated the idea of that because they wanted you to buy seven inch singles. So we had this fantastic situation where uh, all the record companies were getting together with a campaign saying home taping is piracy. So Jamie, of course, being Jamie, uses record company finance to produce images which are promoting the thing that the record company is trying to stop. <laughs> Into the age of piracy, which we love that. Uh, yeah, born again pagan, why not? There's um, a real sort of good sort of collection, isn't there, of sort of pre work from, from really across the, across the spectrum of his, yeah. his work, is it? Yeah, there's, there is actually one of these... This, this drawing goes back to the very early 70s. This one, which is just then reused. Jamie will often do that, take an idea and reuse it over and over again. I mean, this obviously refers to the image he did for the pistols of the Queen with the with swastika eyes. Yeah, that that happens a lot. How did you uh, become involved with Jamie Reed? Because you manage uh, his collection. I do. I look after his archive, yeah, as well as do all the sort of day-to-day -day management stuff with him as well. Uh, I was asked to curate an exhibition of his work in New York. That's how I first met him. I'd never met him before, um, and it was a it was a wonderful experience. A bit of a hair raiser, but great. And um, that was in that was in the mid '90s, and we're still going strong, I think. As long as we're standing, we'll, we'll keep going. Yeah. <laughs> and how did you get involved with new art? Um, Martin Reed asked us over to do uh, new art in Stavanger a few years ago. And of course we stayed in touch. You know, new art's an amazing, amazing organization with lovely people. And uh, we were just very happy to be involved with this year's project. So and what, do you, what do you reckon, the, what do you hope the so the Avedonian public would, would make of this because I mean there's some quite controversial well, pieces in, the, in here I suppose and it certainly gets you thinking if there's anything it gets you thinking well that's good because art should make you think it really should if, if art is easily to easily digestible then it's not really doing its job it should it should provoke thought um, not everybody's going to like it that's for sure and that's fine but I would say that when we were putting it up we had lots of people walk by stop look, ask what we were doing. And as soon as I saw an opportunity to get a pair of extra hands in, I would say, come and, come and do a bit, try it, give it a go yourself. So we had a fabulous range of people come here and help put the piece up. So it, it was interesting because it was a kind of direct engagement with people that may not go into galleries normally. And of course you have that situation with street art anyway, anything like that. But this was an opportunity for people to get involved with the creation of it, which was, which was really, uh, it was a lovely event, actually. And it allows for a conversation on the street as well, doesn't it? This, yeah. This sort of thing, when you're walking past work like this, and you might recognise some of Jamie's more familiar work. Yeah. So the, the work, like the God Save the Queen stuff that he does with, did with the Sex Pistols, and you suddenly might notice that and think, oh, yeah, that's that the connection. Was, is this yeah, that's the same right. artist? Yeah, what, what's going on here? Precisely, what is going on? So... You know, as long as you get get a conversation going, then 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 that's good. We're happy with that. Thank you, John. Pleasure.